gardening is concerned, it doesn't always have to be bigger to be better. Let's take a look at a small landscape that has really big impact. We're at our friend Barbara's and marveling at the plant she has growing in the narrow strip at the side of her house. Now how's this for big impact? This is Jack's giant elephant ear with leaves that can be bigger than four feet. The huge leaves have a glossy texture and prominent ribbing. And did I say these leaves were huge? They put Dumbo's ears to shame. Even though the space is small and narrow, I like the way the white lattice panel and gate create a place to pause and enjoy the shade-loving red Walleriana impatiens growing in the basket on the gate. But don't confuse these with the orange and white sun patients farther down the path. Growing in the shady side garden underneath the red angel wing begonia basket are Nandina, gold dust variegated acuba, and large coarse leaf fatsia. There are two objects that look like some kind of pole, but are actually the trunks of a couple of Chinese parasol trees. While the extremely large lobe leaves aren't readily visible, the smooth greenish bark is an unexpected garden feature. The orange sun patients are repeated in this basket. Last year, Barbara grew red shade impatients here, and they have reseeded and are blooming underneath. What a nice surprise. So even if you're limited in the amount of space, you can still get a big bang from a small package. I'm horticulturist Gary Bachman, and I'll see you next time on Southern Gardening.